Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video tutorial we're going to be looking at creating a zombie using the program Make Human and Blender and also a graphics program. You can use either Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you like to use for your photo editor or graphics editor program. And before I get started, you may be wondering, well, why are we using Make Human to create this human? Uh, why don't we just go ahead and do a model, do a human model in Blender and also the head and everything? Well, in order to do that in Blender, in order to do the modeling part of it, you're looking at probably a 10 hour plus tutorial. There's some tutorials out there on the internet on how to do just that. So if you would like to, you know, take that route and, and make the, the model from scratch, definitely give that a try. I mean, it's very, that's a very daunting, very challenging task. But in this tutorial, in order to speed things along, I'm going to use Make Human. And also, uh, Make Human is such a, a great program that I just want to generate more interest in this program. Um, also, if you're thinking, well, you know, well, you know, another program to learn how to use, and you feel kind of hesitant to jump into Make Human, let me tell you this about Make Human. It is one of the easiest programs you will ever use. Very easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started. If you don't have Make Human already, Go to makehuman.org org and download the version 1 alpha 7 version or you can download the nightly version if you like but uh, I'm using the the 1 alpha 7 version just in case they're different enough to where it's hard to follow along. So once you have it downloaded and installed it'll come up with your generic human which is neither female nor male, uh, old nor young. <laughs> it's kind of a middle of the road human and you can change the options using the uh, options here. So what we're going to do is, first of all, let's go ahead and throw some clothes on this human. So go to Library, and then go to Clothes, and I'm just going to use this standard basic costume. I'm going to select that. Once you select that, you can see if we go to the Global Cam, you can see it's put the clothes on there, shoes and everything, which is great. And you can switch back to face cam here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, depending on how you want to make your zombie, you can make it a female or male. I'm going to make this one male. So I'm going to pull this all the way to the right. Uh, age, that's again a, your preference. You can make it any age you like. Just going to bump it down just a little bit, make it a little bit younger. Uh, tone, we want to go all the way to the left because this is going to be a zombie. He's not, you know, doesn't have much muscle tone at all. Weight, I'm going to go all the way to the left because it's going to be a skinny zombie. He hasn't really eaten any brains in a long time, so he's getting kind of skinny there. Height, again, up to you. I'm going to leave uh, as a Caucasian. You can make it uh, more of an Afro-American or Asian-American or Asian-Afro, whatever you like. Um, that's it for the, mic the macro settings. Macro meaning large and micro meaning small. If you go to the micro... Um, there's really nothing here that I'm going to change around, so we're going to leave that. Torso I'm not going to worry about, but I am going to go to the face, because we're going to change a little bit here. So let's go to the head shape. We'll start at the top here. And again, completely up to you what you'd like to do. I'm going to make mine kind of squarish. So I'm just going to pull this here, and you can see it made the face kind of square. And then I'm going to go to the head itself. And if you take this setting right here and drag it over, it kind of makes it kind of sullen in. So pull it all the way to the left. That's all I'm going to change on this panel. Neck, right eye, left eye, nose features. I'm going to skip all this stuff. And then I'm going to go to the cheek. And I'm going to bring in the cheeks. This is a kind of a cheekbone area here, lower cheeks. Just move them all the way to the left. And this is the higher cheek area right here. I'm going to move those all the way to the right to bring those in also. Just to give that kind of, you know, the skin is kind of sticking to the bones kind of kind of look. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do on the face. I'm not going to mess with the arms and legs. Uh, gender, asymmetry. I mean, you can, you can kind of play around with all these settings if you like. Um, but for our zombie, zombie thing, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible to keep this tutorial as short as possible. And um, 
keep it sort of like this. Now, one thing I will say is if you change something and you want to go back, there's a reset button here, but don't use that reset button. Button. If you use the reset button, it's going to reset everything back to the first thing you've seen when you opened up Make Human. That uh, that general human character with no clothes on. So what I suggest, if you need to back up any of your settings, just do a Control Z, which is undo, and also probably should be the same as undo over here and the redo button right here. Okay, so we got that settled. Um, pretty much we have everything ready to go. You can go into, let's go back into library just to show you. Um, if we go into expressions, you can actually give it an expression. Uh, these are main, pretty much extreme expressions. I mean, when you look at the anger expression, it's really angry or fear, really scared, whatever. Um, but we're going to do a little bit uh, more like... Uh, a customized zombie. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna make it an extreme angry zombie or anything like that. We're gonna do that in Blender. So uh, unless you want to go ahead and use one of these, just leave those alone. We already did the clothes. Uh, I'm gonna go to the eyes, and for some reason I think zombies should have green eyes. So I'm gonna choose green eyes. The other thing that I need to do go back to the library. We need to go to skin and apply a skin. I'm going to use the Caucasian male young. And then in Make Human, you can instantly see kind of a change in our character here. Now, if it's your first time using Make Human, if you go to the skin and you add the skin, um, you'll have a pop up saying that it's not downloaded yet. Would you like to download it? And you just need to say yes to download those textures. And then we have hair. I did kind of think you know I, I would maybe add some short hair or something like if I choose this one but then I thought you know what I think I want my zombie to be bald because you know with if they've been in the ground for a while they probably lost most of their hair um, and this just looks kind of stupid for a zombie so I'm just gonna leave it up to be a bald zombie which we're also going to be fixing up in um, in the graphics program so Let's go back to library, hair, and I'm just going to clear that out. And the hair you're seeing there, that's basically from the textures itself. So if we go to our global cam, this is kind of what our zombie looks like right now. So not too much of a zombie right now. I mean, he's looking sort of malnourished or something, but uh, we're going to make him look like a real zombie. So... Um, this is pretty much all we need to do and make human and, and then uh, we need to export it. So we're going to go to files and you want to go over to export and what we're going to do is use the Blender Exchange format, MHX, because when you bring that over it works really well in Blender. It was made to work in Blender so when you do that it'll bring up this panel. If you don't see this panel change your option source here to use the GUI GUI options and you should be using version 2.5 hopefully you're using uh, you know the latest blender you do want to check separate folder because I found if you don't do that for some reason it doesn't save the textures or doesn't, doesn't bring the textures over feet on the ground yes that's fine expressions yes we do want expressions we do want face shapes we do want body shapes we want a face panel we want the clothes we want the clothes rig and we want to use MHX rig. See, they have a lot of options here. We're going to use this MHX rig. And I'm just going to call this Zombie. And hit Export. And when you export this, you'll see that it's exporting all the different pieces of this armature here. It's exporting all the clothes and the textures and everything. Now when it's done exporting, you'll see this info box come up and it tells you exactly where it's exported this to. And this is important because it doesn't really export it to a directory that you would think it would, basically. So this will tell you the exact directory. I usually uncheck this box just so I see this every time and remind me, oh, oh yeah, it ex exports it in the documents under Make Human and Exports. So just take note of where it's exporting because you're going to need to know where those files are at. And click OK. 
And the last thing you need to do in Make Human, probably a good idea to save it. So go back to Files. We exported it, but we need to save this in our Make Human format. So in case something goes terribly wrong in Blender, we can all, you know, come back to our original creation and export it again without uh, having to worry about doing all these changes again. So I'm just going to call this zombie underscore uh, MH for Make Human, just so I can differentiate the two and hit save and it's saved. Okay, so that's it for this portion of the zombie tutorial. In the next part, what we're going to be doing is importing this into Blender and making uh, just minor changes to the clothes, uh, the change to the face, and just a, a few minor changes there before we move on. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.